open gss2 software click on the import go down to the powder data then go down to click on the guess format from file then go so here i have saved data on my desktop we will be considering case of nickel oxide in this folder you will see there are three different file one is a cif another is an instrument and third is a data in this video i want to demonstrate how to perform retro refinement if we don't have access to the instrument file so click on the data file open it say yes now it will ask you for choose an instrument parameter file for 800c as i told i don't want to use this one so just click on the cancel it will give a select default instrument parameter so default for copper k alpha or default for aps in this case i use a broker instrument so i know i have used copper k alpha data so i'll be default for copper k alpha lab data click ok now you can go to the background as here you can see xrd data where background look pretty flat so in this case i will keep the background function as default and i will choose a number of coefficient to be 10 so this number varies depending on how your background look like then we'll go to the instrument parameter here we can see azimuth is a 0 and k alpha k alpha 2 is 1.54 as to 1.54 okay so remember that you need to refine this factor the intensity of I, l2 and intensity of l1 which is by default 0.5 but it will vary depending on the uh, contribution coming from k alpha and k alpha 2 then we will go to the sample parameter in this parameter make sure the histogram scale factor has been selected okay now go back again click on the import in the import go to the phase in the phase we will choose a cif file to import the phase factor for nickel oxide so here is a cif file which include the abc parameter and alpha beta gamma and also the occupancies so click open say yes edit phase name so here i'll be using nio click ok now it will ask select histogram to add new phase so it's a powder 800c and click ok now in this first window we can see in case of journal is a unit cell 4.1684 volume and all those things then if you go to the data you will have four different variable like a size micro spin lg mix and lg mix so this we need to refine and the third option is add up so in case of nickel oxide is one nickel and one oxygen its cartesian coordinate is 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and for oxygen is 0 0 0 and then the fraction that's the occupancy is 1 1 is default number so come back to the journal click on the refine and then we can go click on the calculate here you will see option for refine in case of mac you can use a shortcut that's a command and r and in case of windows is a control and r so click on refine then it will ask choose jesus project file name so the file name is nio 800 without cif and where to save so i'll choose nio 800 and save it begin to refine so initially we can see reduced chi score is 4 to 5 which is pretty high and then we need to look uh, we need to refine in such a way that this chi score will get down below 5 so click ok just repeat again hit the command r keys and it's down to 29 one more time command r 24 one more time so it's 22 it's not getting better so click ok now we need to choose the other factor so let's see micro strain command r so it shows 6.92 pretty good i'll show you something if we refine size and micro strain together let's see what happens it shows no highly correlated parameter that means this is not allowed okay so click cancel and then you can remove from the micro strain and click on the size now we don't see that message and our pass score is 6.93 so no much change 
अगर आई क्लिक ऑन द माइक्रो स्टोर वट इज एल जी मिक्स एल इज अज एंड जी इज गाउशन सो दैट्स हाउ योर फंक्शन योर पिक लुक लाइक इट कुड बी अ मिक्स ऑफ लॉरेंज इन एंड गाउशन फंक्शन सो इन दैट केस दिस वैल्यू शुड बी वन इट शुड बी इन बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन शुड नॉट एक्सिट वन सो एक्सिट टू वन क्लिक ऑन एल जी मिक्स हिट द कमांड ऑफ बटन सिक्स Okay, I will try one more time. Micro stream. Let's see what happens. It remains the same. Now we need to go back to the instrument parameter and click on the refinement for zero. Hit the command R, and we'll see it has reduced to five point two seven. It's getting better. Come back to the Yanai. Again, try with the micro stream. Four point nine. Yeah, okay. With the size is getting better. One more time. Four point eight. Let's check the mix again. So this way we need to keep trying and make sure the parameters are within the allowed you know, permitted values. Four point eight. Now you click this micro strain and LG mix together. Try to refine together. Then again a message appears. So it's not allowed. So better not to do that. So 4.8. One more time. 4.7. Now we'll go to the atom part. So here we can see x y z is 0.5, 0.55, and the 0 zero, zero. That means we, there is no point to refine this number. What we can refine is a fraction. And the other part is a thermal parameter that is U I S O. So select one by one. So fraction F is for fraction. Hit the command R. It's four point seven six two. One more time. No more change. And it has reduced to zero point nine eight. So fraction should be in between zero and one. It should not exceed one again. So just select this one <coughs> and select again the fraction for oxygen. Hit the command R. It shows four point seven six two, but there is no change, so we can keep this one. What this means is, this nickel oxide sample has a nickel deficiency. Now we'll refine the UISO. So for UISO again, we need to click U, thermal factor. It has four point seven four, and make sure it doesn't change to red. One more time, four point seven. Deselect and select U for oxygen. Let's see. Four point seven three nine. Okay. We'll go back to the data one more time. We find the micro strain. Let's see what happens. It's four point seven two. Choose the size this time. No, I'll go with it. It's not allowing this time. This one. So just wait for more. Four point seven point four. So I'm going to mix four point seven point three. Four point six. Something better. State. Okay, this time it allowed us to refine both the LG Max and Micro Strain. So the value is down to 2.987. That's pretty good. One more time. 2.987. Okay, I click the size. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's getting better. So now it's 2.8. So okay, it's 2.6. Check 
code at the same time to find the fraction for the code. Click on 6, not change. We will find the new. Save it and click on 4 to the right. Okay, click on 6, no more change. So I think this is the, the best we can have. I will go back to the data. The last time, size. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's make it and click on the LG mix. No, okay. That's all. So we have done with the refinement. You can go back and check the instrument parameter and uh, zero value. And you can see here intensity of L2 to L1 is 0 0.0101. So it's, it's, it's much smaller than 0 0.5. This is why because the wavelength is close to 1.544, not to 1.540. Anyway, now uh, click on the export. Oh, okay, one more time. Another point is. So from here, for from coherence, you can see uh, the WR value, chi square, geo, goodness of fitting, and reduced chi square is 2.47. Now go to the export. Click on the export and. Uh, then here powder data as uh, reflex histogram csv file okay uh, not the list histogram csv file and the same folder save second part export phase as a quick cif file okay save and now you can close the it will ask you to save click yes now go back to the folder and over here you can see it has created a number of files because we have performed we have hit the refinement multiple times so you can just choose them and this can be moved to the trash okay. what is important is uh, csp and the list okay so I click open with sort of set. So over here you can see uh, a different column and this column can be copied in any plotting software like ORG and then you can get your uh, XRD you can see the refined XRD reflectogram and later we can open so this file include all the details so like XYZ and then uh, I think the fraction and also the where is it that X ABC Yeah, over here. A, B, C, and this is the error. And alpha, beta, gamma, volume with the error on all these details. So this is required if you want to put all details in the when you want to report in the research paper. So that's all. I hope you like it. Do share and subscribe.